Hey guys, welcome back to Seat Story Cup. Uh, it is time for yet another match. We're just ripping yep. through today. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be casting till 3 a.m., so that's yeah, pretty neat. We're basically taking more time stuffing her face than actually casting hurts them. Yeah, some really excellent German mustard, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we've had some good food, but I'm pretty sure it's the German like horseradish mustard that's just been carrying everything to a high rating. It's it's really nice and spicy. I like it quite a bit, too. Yeah. Of course, Lothar's here. You like yeah. the mustard? It's great. It is great. Uh, it, this it's, this it's tournament's decided. great, too. And you know what else is great? The sponsors. Let's take a look <laughs> at this web page uh, real quick. And you can see, okay, Kingwin, very important sponsor for mm. eSports. Okay. So, you know, this is definitely something that you want to uh, go down here and click on. So you go ahead and click. And you know what you're going to look for? You're going to look for... Little heads with sombreros on them. I think Amaz is the main one. Uh, Amaz, you just Boston, click around. Let's, oh, Crip, and Dennis, you know, I think. Let's just X. X Blade Steam Gift. Maybe it's there. Could be on any page. We don't really know. I've been looking. I haven't found it yet. So you definitely can still win. Go ahead. Copy. Paste uh, the, the address that wins. And then you're going to go to Take TV on Facebook. Oh, that's a good picture of you, Lothar. I shaved. And you're going to go right here. Click on this. It's going to give you or this link yeah, this right one. here, rather. It is going to give you a link uh, or a place to put the link that you found a Moz at. Yeah. And then you can win a whole bunch of cool stuff like 20 euro gift cards and stuff like that. So, and card, Hearthstone card packs. Yeah, you can get card packs for Hearthstone and become a pro yourself. You can get that Major Domo. And, With three uh, packs, you will yeah. get full value. Major Domo is actually not from a pack. They wouldn't do that to people. Paying customers. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be really, really mean. So, yeah, guys, go check that out for sure. Of course, love for all the sponsors here at Seat Story Cup, which includes, uh, of course, Need for Seat, the main sponsor, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, here we are. And we have Life Coach versus Alesh coming up. They both 3 0 really quickly. You thought that yep. Life Coach 3 0 quick? Alesh 3 0 even quicker. It was like a 10 minute match. It was crazy. Yeah, and the winner of this. Uh Advances to the playoffs automatically. Yeah. Uh, the loser of this will have to play the winners, uh, the winner of the losers match. Yep. And that'll be the last match. Yeah, of the that's night. Johnny Druid versus Show. Mm -hmm. So the winner of that will play the loser of this. But the winner here goes on to that round of eight, of Ooh. which this guy's already a part. Uh, smug. That's right. Uh, your group actually was. Uh, you got second place, and Ignite got first place, yeah. right? Ignite got first place. Uh, Ignite I got the double second. first place. Pretty sick. That. You guys are yeah. having some really deep runs. But uh, it Let's looks like the game is about ready to start, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. By the way, did you wonder, the Need for Seed is the sponsor for the tournament, and we are sitting on our 70... <laughs> 70 know, euro 70 sofa? Euro no, this sofa? is the original Which, Need for Seed. Who are we supposed to observe on this one? Uh, life oh, coach. Lash. No, a life coach, yeah. Life coach. Life coach. Life coach. There he is. Here okay. Is. Rank 20. Oh, come on. <laughs> he doesn't try. All right. Well, uh, Lesh has chosen uh, Mech Mage. He's up against Life Coach's Warlock. Did we see Life Coach's Warlock so far? Oh, uh, I don't believe so. Really? No, we didn't, it, was, right? it was banned every single time? Oh, no, we got so. Zombie Chow and uh, Dr. Boom, which is a pretty good card, and then Immortal Coil. I, I think you that's actually, a decent you actually don't draw, get too much information draw. from that, do you? Is it handlock with Zombie Chow? It definitely could be. Mm. He changed something because before we went to the tournament, we were talking about Demon Lock, Handlock, like a really greedy one without Zombie Chow. So he had to change something before submitting the mm -hmm. final deck list. Okay. Well, Alash does have pretty aggressive. Oh, hand. wow. And Twilight yep. Break. That's quite neat. So, it's definitely some sort of handlock. Uh, by the way, guys, just to point out, uh, Alesh's Shaman is banned and the Paladin of Life Coach is banned. So those are two super common bans for this tournament so far. I think Alesh has already lost. <laughs> I think he's going to uh, coin out the double one drop and he's going to get absolutely murdered by Mortal Coil Zombie Chow. What do you think about the Mad Scientist? It's really bad, but at least you play for... You could Cogmaster with this and just really risk. Goodbye, game. Looks like we're really in a hurry here, oh, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. This really is, in a this hurry. Is I think awful. I would have played it exactly like this, but this isn't going to be good. <laughs> Do you think Life Coach will rope this one? Nope. Unlikely. Well, let's see what he draws. Second Twilight Drake. Sick. Wow. That is about as bad as it can be for a Lush. I don't know if you can get, can come back from this. <laughs> you even have the owl. Yeah, for, for the By the way, his mech page <laughs> has uh, Harrison. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I think um, maybe you have a Blink Tron too, because it's not too bad in Mechanic. Yeah, he, to begin I with. would say he does have a Blink Tron. Mm-hmm. If you're going to play the Harrison, why wouldn't you play a Blink Tron in this deck? Yeah. It's already like a slower version, right? So, What do you think about playing Iron Beak Owl this turn? I mean, after. Y- you can I- either silence the Mad Scientist or just sacrifice Zombie Chow with this and then. I like trigger. silencing the Mad Scientist because that's just the main silence target in the deck. Yeah. But then you leave two mirror entities in, a, in your opponent's deck. So you have to think. Do you want to give him the potential value uh, of the mirror entity? I, I see what you're saying. I still think you do it. You think it's going because gonna otherwise, go that long, what are you going to do? You have to drop the owl to get it, and then the owl's just going to die anyways. Because you want to drop the Twilight Drake on turn four. I, right? I think I think the reality of the situation is is already decided. Like you've already blown out the mage. He has very few cards left already. Mm-hmm. Like you've killed two for free. Yeah. If you kill another like half. I think that just makes it so the mage is going to run out of steam. Try the Inferno. Well, that's a good draw, I think, at some point of the game in a different matchup. <laughs> he might want to just straight play that from his hand rather than... Uh, I, I'm, I think it's just void call target and that's yeah. it. Yeah, of course. At least in this matchup. Mm. <coughs> well. Okay, well, uh, that is a terrible draw. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible draw. I, I yeah. do yeah. agree it, with it, you it on is. that. It is, it is. That's so bad of a draw. You kind of wished it got silenced. But next turn, it well, I don't, I don't know about that. Why not? Well, you get, it, you will get gets, the second if one. If it gets silenced, yeah. you're probably gonna get your mirror entity off on the second that's, mad scientist in the deck. That's yeah. not so bad actually. I mean, of course it's bad in a situation when you don't really want it before there's any ancient watchers being played, but. In this situation, Life Coach will have to play the Iron Beak Owl and ping something, like the Mac, um, Clockwork Gnome, right? And How's he pinging? Never mind, he now... It's not the class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wrong class. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it happens. It happens. You're, you're pro- you're, it's, it's probably because we, we saw all those Major Domo games uh, in the break. It, it just makes That's so actually all we did on the break, yeah. was watch Major Domo video yeah. highlights. Yeah, eight, eight damage ping is, is usually <laughs> my choice of ping. I think it was still the best to see the Wisp Cold Blood turn Wisp one. Wisp Cold Blood against the Mage. <laughs> yeah, against the Mage. Wisp Cold Blood going second yeah. against the Mage. So his turn two is. Yeah. That was quite nice. So now we will see, see the second uh, mirror entity, right? Apparently, I have uh, ice cream. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, you should. Okay. You sure it's vegan? Ice cream. It's vegan? You yeah, sure? They make vegan sure? ice cream. Yeah, I would say it's probably a frozen oh, yeah. sherbet. Or mm. Yeah, so. Well, I guess you'll just be really jealous. No, I don't really care for ice cream. Mm hmm. You will. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Mm. So, second mirror entity. And you want to draw a ancient water now. Yeah, that would be nope. pretty good. So, Could you have to play the Iron Big Owl, right? You tap. Maybe it's ancient, ancient water. Yeah, tap first. You got double molten giants, and no taunters yet. I yeah. mean, no activators for those. So you probably want to draw into those. SAP. I feel bad having to use both owls right off the bat, but I guess that's reflected by the bad draw of mm-hmm. of Alesh to get the both mirror entities so quickly. So eh, it's I like fine. It. Just tap. See what you get. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Roll it's a dice. motor coil. Oh, maybe it's a zombie channel. <laughs> That'd be so great. <laughs> <laughs> Second zombie chow? I don't think Life Code will play both. Will you play Mortal Coils? No, right? he doesn't play two zombie chows in here. There's no way. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's no, no way he plays Dread Infernal. No, that's sometimes in there. You would say that like mm. three weeks ago, right? What, zombie There's chow? no way someone plays Dread Infernal in a competitive environment. Oh, I've seen a few deck lists with it. Mm. It did surprise me. See, I don't expect it. Hmm. Taking it to the next level. Maybe yeah. we'll see Belcher. Wow. Oh, we'll see a Belcher, but yeah, being yeah gone. next turn. Next turn, maybe. Two mirror entities into two owls. Pure value. Three mana, <laughs> two one creature. Sounds nice. But it's cast instantly with charge. Yeah, that's the that's point. true. Yeah. Yeah. If only he had mortal coils to go. So it's like a terrible wolf rider. Yeah, m- you might say so, or just a mur- m- murloc. Um, bas- how, how did you say that? Murloc torpedo, right? Bluegill torpedo. Bluegill torpedo. Okay. It is a torpedo, actually. Yeah. 
Like a very weak It survives trivia. exactly one turn. Yeah. Yeah. It always runs into things. Yep. I wonder. Speaking of which, what was that highlight reel that we watched earlier with the the hmm? bluegill? Hmm? Was that Neptulon? Mm, yeah. It was like unstable Nep- Neptulon bluegill? It was some miraculous clear against Gara. Into yeah. he, top, Domo? he top decked um, no, not that one. he top decked a <laughs> Neptulon into a bluegill for the two damage exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love stuff like that, man. Those videos are so funny. Those are the exact two cards he needed. Those are the only two cards that could beat me. Check. He cast it in the only way that could do it, uh, to, could beat me, Check. or whatever it is. Yeah. What's he thinking about? Uh, I, not like a, ping? Uh, I don't know. But if he like doesn't ping. trade, Dreadfall seems to be quite okay, right? Yeah, it does. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it would be at 12, so. though. It's a possibility this game. Hellfire, no. So you just play Dread Inferno. I would say so. That guy's gonna do like a lot of work, and you can take the four. Yeah, looks good. You still didn't draw any Sun Furies, mm-hmm. or but you could tap a Sun Fury double. We will actually show the Dread Inferno to the viewers because that's yeah, a new card. Yeah, that's a new card released in the new adventure, which didn't, uh, which wasn't yet released. So you know. That's weird because um, so yeah, it doesn't have a rarity symbol. Yeah, Whoa! Was because the expansion is not yet released. Oh, okay. It's a preview it's promo. It's a brand new card. It's mm. a preview promo. You know where he lives? He lives in Black Rock Mountain. Hmm. He's made out of rocks. It makes sense. Drenfernal was like uh, amazingly good in um, the game. No, when <laughs> um, when uh, Nax was released, like before GVG. Now you have more demons with the floating watcher, that kind of stuff. But in arena, if you'd get like four oh, void callers arena, and okay. like four dreadfernals, be the oh. sickest draft you could possibly get. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds cool. I really like the sound of the AOE. Sound. Oh, agreed. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it does two damage, but really it only does one. Eight hundred. Eight hundred damage. When I was first time reading the hero power of Blackrock Mountain, like. Deal 30 points of damage for two mana. I was like, what? Before entering the game, you know, with the wife. Yeah. I wonder. Wait, wait, wait what? The, what's the name of the. Uh, Emperor the boss? Thorson. The oh, that's last, Emperor Thorson. The last okay. boss of the first wing of Blackrock. His hero power doing 30 damage seems a little bit overpowered. For two points of but mana. But it turns out he's a dumbass, so he just doesn't do very much most oh, of the time. Oh, because his wife is in play? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I made sure to mm. kill her right before I lethal him. I actually, um... He's like, no! And then I killed so him. so bad yeah. <laughs> Everyone has done that. Yeah. Now, um, I actually know about that boss. Um, I once had to, uh, you know, kill the wife and yeah. just, you know, forget it. And instead of him using his hero power, he beyond me and killed me with a fire elemental to face. Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Typical dwarf fashion. Well, Alex top decked the Antonidas, so this is not looking grim anymore. To be honest, he has the stealth. He, oh my God! You're right. Oh, How do you that's deal with crazy. That? You have to, you have to drop the Sylvanas right now, and find a way to kill her next turn. Wait, how no, ma- no, 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 next he turn. Needs uh, turn after that. Yeah, one turn after that. Wow, oh, this is so bad. Life coach can be just pew 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 out of the game. Yeah. That is about the scariest thing there is. But you know what? There, If he gets a Shadow Flame, he can actually deal with it. Well, yeah, but you have to drop the Sylvanas this turn. So yeah, but even with a Giant, he could Shadow Flame, you know? Oh, yeah. Because the Giants by then it should cost even less. Now you should I drop the tw- the Twilight Drake or Beltra? Uh, yeah, like the Twilight Drake seems pretty good, but I think you want a taunt at this point, maybe. So right? maybe, maybe. I actually think Sylvanas is the best play. You think so? Are you afraid of an Neutron right now? You can take another yeah, one. Yeah, you're right. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that's true. This is maybe the last turn where you can play her safely. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's also a good point. Oh. Oh, you know what? I will just shut, shut the door. Okay. This loud poker plane. Hearthstone dropouts. It's mostly Amaz. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> People are, like the seven guys in the poker table around Amaz are basically watching his stream right now. 
It's a, it's a private airing. Oh, wow. I bet all of his subscribers right now are so angry. At what? Amaz is doing a private stream only for the people here. Really? Does he wave his hands? Yeah, actually. A lot? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this draw might change a lot also. But still, it sucks. So you can Hellfire. But then you lose the Sylvanas. Um, you, you gain the one creature, but you lose the Sylvanas and you have no answer to the Antonidas. How do you deal with that? Uh, might still do it, though. Well, it's he will do it because what are the chances of to, uh, of Antonidas and Stealth part, right? It's one to five, uh, one yeah. to part, and uh, he only did get one part, I think, right? Uh, no, he's gotten two parts so oh, far this two game, parts. Right, right. but one of them he already used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. okay. I think I would like definitely do that, to be honest. Hellfire? Yeah. yeah. It just seems it's right. It's too good. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then you can even play a Molen Giant. And now your spells cost one less. That's so sick. you need to draw uh, Lotep. Lotep next. No, Shadow Flame. Lotep yeah, Shadow Flame is good. Yeah, well, oh, it's two oh no, you, you can options. tap and double Molten. Oh, that's great. Oh, crazy. How oh, we didn't see that? That's a lot of damage. That's 16, 19 I points think, of I think damage. One of us saw a lot of these plays. Like, Actually, I'm pretty sure the last two turns of Life Coach have, have seen by one caster. I wonder, wonder who it is. Who was that? You and Life Coach. Same level, obvious. <laughs> So you need to... You're dead to... You have to heal. Yeah. But if you heal... No, you're dead. No, no you, you got 17. Not no, this no, no, no. Oh, that's right. You're one off lethal. Yeah. yeah. So you just drop the anti-heal bot. Oh, you got you got Oh, he doesn't too. even have 10 mana. You're two off lethal. Two off lethal, that's right. Yeah, and you defend the Argus too. Yeah. So you, you go anti-heal bot, taunt both... Both, both the 8As. Both the 8As. Mm -hmm. And go for phase for 19... My uh, no, no, no. What? A lot. 21. 21. 21. That's crazy! And now, now if you're a leash, you actually have lethals. Fireball face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's the... Another oh, the fireball top deck! <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's like the worst draw in the whole deck, actually. <laughs> Crypt, that was the... Um, another play that we didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Watch it actually be the play here. Get ready. Get direct. Hmm. What's that? Think, no, you do it to the face. I think he's punishing his his terrible Antonitis. Ha ha ha! And he punished <laughs> himself. Yeah. You and you suck, Antonitis. That is gonna be that. Uh, oh, life coach up. Life coach up. Yeah. Two zero. Or is it one zero? One zero. No, no, one zero. One zero. Calm game. down, you. Okay. Okay. All Those, right. There's uh, no way that will be so fast. Yeah. And no it's 3 0. What a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm already feeling it, by the way. Uh, yeah. It, you know, I, I find players that I'm like, oh, this this the way this person plays or acts or whatever resonates with me. And, like, that's been Tyson Strife Crow for so long. But I'm really getting into Life Coach right now. You I'm know like, what's funny? I, 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 I just thought about it. Like, the last match that we saw between Life Coach and Show, when Show actually tries to explain what happened to people, no one's going to believe him. It's like, yeah, I just got thrown by life coach in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So full of crap, dude. I that think never happened. You know what? Three I think times that conceit. there's like some really negative yeah. uh, life coach propaganda out there. I don't think he plays slow. I've never seen it. I don't. I've, no, I've seen I'm not him play sure. Quickly. I have seen him play sure really slow. He, everyone talking. has a long term now and then. Mm -hmm. But but it's true. The matches we cast today, he's he's played actually as far as this term is concerned. Exceptionally fast and also exceptionally well. Yep, he's I playing. Most people have played quite well in this tournament. The guy has the perfect, except mindset. for a few. Yeah. Imagine if Life Code would be the, um, attending the first Dreamhack Bucharest without the rope. Oh, dude, the the very original fight nights. Yeah, life. No one has anything on Trump and Monk for, for that. Forty minutes into Mist Lethal, right? Yeah, it's just the craziest. <laughs> That was a tough job for you. It was so tough. Yep. We were brave. All right. Well, it's the mage v mage. Both players oh, of the mech. God. What? Cog oh, God. Cog into a neutron. That's that's a really great draw. Cog Smith is what we're calling it now. Cog Smith. Yeah. Cog Smith. 
Cogsmith. Yeah, okay. Now he misses the, uh, uh, the two You know what I'm not going to miss? My zappy zappy. Look at that. Bam! All right, let, let's nice see you shot. try, Lothar. Come on. Okay. First try, Lothar. Only one try. That no. looks good. That no. looks good. That's good. Oh, yeah. I'm the best. I have a different res resolution, I think. Mm. <laughs> oh, double cook. Smith? Mm -hmm. yeah. Cog Smith, yeah. yeah. Uh, and to make Whirlpool seems to be good. Yeah, it's what an alright play. Especially it seemed to be good the last time Life Coach played this deck and had exactly the same opener and absolutely murdered his yeah. opponent, which was also a mage, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, look. There's also Snow Trigger for uh, next turn Snow Trigger Frostbolt. Mm -hmm. uh, that seems nice. Wow. Just wow. It's a beatdown, I, I would say. The, uh, I don't think you trade even, right? Because if you don't trade, then you force your opponent into uh, using his hero power next turn. And that just sucks. I think you yeah. do trade. I oh, no, would wait. trade no, 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 because no, no. I right. have the Frostbolt. Yeah. But yeah, I if, if you don't trade, you're, you're weak to Frostbolt yourself. What oh, he already top decked it. Yeah, he did top deck it. Hmm. Called it. That is quite a top deck right there. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't see the top deck animation. You yeah, think maybe I mean, we can get a delayed one? I'd feel good if I saw a delayed top deck animation. Yeah? Mm hmm I don't think they care what you want to see. That's too bad. Thanks for, thanks for supporting me, Atosis. Thank, no problem, thank you buddy. so much. Hey. Now you have to... <laughs> do you think, guys, he will trade into the Mad Scientist just to play the Snow Trigger and to go the Dude. best mage on, on Curve? Here's, here's what you do. You trade in with your Cogsmith, and you play your Mirror Entity, and then it's a. this is like a bluffing... Type situation. Who plays the first minion? Here's actually what you do: you go back in a time machine, you kill off the mad scientist, your cog Smith. Yeah, that's what you do. Nice, nice. But you I'm serious. Like uh, I, I feel like play. Life Coach really threw away a huge advantage with that risky play when he had no reason to play risky. Yeah, I I would have traded as well, but well, I do like the idea of making him trade in. One to uh, two to twenty-five to draw the frostbolt. He could have just had frostbolt. Though. No, he would have used it. I think. No, he, he no. no, 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 no. That makes no sense. No yeah. Mind. So next time you drop Snow Trigger into Pearl Bolt, right? Yeah. Most what certainly. Do. Dublin Goblin what Blast Mage. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Well, this didn't oh, really get any wow. better. Oh, yeah, that's pretty rough. The worst possible draws ever. Close the damn doors. I don't think they can pick that up through the microphone much. What yeah, I don't do? think they can. What Thank do? you, Hyped. Uh, hmm. I, I'm this not sure is not one is. of those exceptionally quick turns, <laughs> but for good, for good reason. Yeah. yeah. You should go Snow Trigger mm. into Frostbolt. Right? I, I don't think that there's actually another play. Everything sucks. If you play Mirror Entity, you basically beg your opponent to have a really bad, bad draw. No, you, you can't play Mirror Entity, and you can't play Goblin Blast Mage. I... Chugga Chugga is the only one. Maybe you don't even use the first bolt? You just play. Oh, you do. Interesting that he chooses to kill that one. Hmm. hmm. How come? No, it's not really. Hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to make it exciting. So now if he loses the mech, and he will lose the mech, next turn is mirror entity into pink. Because the snow dragon will have two points of HP, right? Unless the goblin blast mage will go full yellow and hit... I like the Goblin Blast Mage. Trigger yeah, he, he's twice. definitely gonna Goblin Blast Mage. Mm. Just what will it hit is the question. I think attacking Chugga into Chugga is a good is a good first play. Chugga and Chugga then Blast Mage. No, I I disagree. I think you hit, have him hit twice, so you can use it if you're other guy. See, hmm. way better. Okay. Yeah. Because otherwise your Chugga Chugga is frozen for like until like turn nine or something. Mm. Seems to be accurate. Yeah. We've all done that. We know. Now your turn sucks. Mm. Oh, it sucks even more. Yeah, that's about as bad as it can be. 
So you have to ping the Goblin Glass Mage because if your opponent will drop a 2 attack minion, and most likely he will, you will have at least one target to ping. I really feel like we're still going back to, to turn 2 trading here. Yes, yes, we like, are. Life Coach's entire hand and draw has been win more. And because he lost the advantage, because he wanted to do three more face damage, his hand has become yeah. worthless. You're actually, you are right about that. Mm. Yeah. Because really, that is a hand where, like, if he traded oh. yeah. in the way that you were saying early on... He would have double his hand, entity and the board. Yeah, yeah his yeah, board would be huge. That's true, that's true. But, uh... Yeah. It, no, I, I understand why Alesh. Alesh had two Goblin Blast Mage. He probably wouldn't even gotten one off. Yeah. There's no way. Oh, man, and now he has the Mad Scientist. These draws are just so awful. <laughs> mirror into, into Mirror into, into Mad Scientist. Into Clockwork Man. Oh, God. For zero mana. <laughs> <laughs> Great O3 uh, mana trade. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this sucks. Yeah, he missed lethal. Yeah, no. he did miss lethal. No, ho. Oh. How? Oh, with the yeah, ping. Frostbolt. Yeah, yeah. He pinged f instead of Frostbolt. Nice. Unacceptable. Alesh. Another move you we, did, we didn't see. <laughs> That's okay. Just PM. He's trying to hide <laughs> the Frostbolt tech. All right, then he plays <laughs> two, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing more and more mech mages just skip that card. Yeah. No way. Really? Yeah. What's the, the thing is, look, look, the, the Frostbolt, why don't you just play Bloodfen Raptor? Because that's like two Frostbolts sometimes. Hmm. No, the thing How is, does it freeze? No one cares the about main, the freezing. You have Chugga Chugga for that. Guys, the main okay. the main problem with Frostbolt is that it's not a mech. So <laughs> when you play Mech Warper, Mech Warper, it still costs two mana. What? It's so bad. It's so so dumb. you have to play Sorcerer's Apprentice even instead play of Frostbolt. Yeah. God. Man. You know what I think is it, to make Test Dummy used more, they should make it if Mech Warper is out, like two of them. T the test <laughs> dummy becomes an innervate for you and it gives you two extra mana. It's actually called target dummy, which explains about how much it's used right now. Yeah. <laughs> is it really target <laughs> dummy? It's actually target I guess you dummy. actually get to see it because you do arena, so like sometimes it pops up. Yeah, but that's not the card you click on when it pops how, up. How I've, does it pop I've out? picked... Uh, when you draft arena, you get choices. Oh, you mean that? I, I thought it's yeah. like from a... I've picked it exactly name. once and it wasn't that bad. That's because I had two Iron Senseis along with a lot of other mechs. Ah. Uh, yeah. But it's bad. Yeah. All right, so one to one right now, guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, so let's see. We have Mage and Druid, of course, still for Life Coach, and uh, Druid Hunter for Alesh. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, he gets the Hunter versus Druid. Okay. Going well for Alesh right now. Yeah. Unless there will be a quick cousin. For That's right. He does play Kazan in here, doesn't yeah. he? He plays Kazan everywhere. He's so teched. It's actually a pretty big card. Like, if you can Kazan down an explosive trap, it basically clears the board of the hunter. You know how I won against Porter in the final game? Is that how? He he Kazaned. No, no, no. He used the Kazan mm. to. I had like three minis on board, so he used the Kazan to steal my trap. At first, he uh, he used the giant to kill my mad scientist to get the trap out, and then afterwards, he used the Kazan, and it was a snake trap. And then you won? Yeah, because it didn't trigger. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Because I just went face. He, he wanted the explosive trap. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why people are running Snake Trap. <laughs> so they waste four mana on a crap shredder that doesn't yeah. get attacked anyway. No one wants to kill Kazan. Nope. Well, that's an awful draw. Wait, did Alesh just... Nope. Oh, okay, no, no. Yeah, the the animation on this is so funny. The way that it is. Well, that's the worst hand I've ever seen. <laughs> that is I wouldn't. Bad. I, I wouldn't keep the knife juggler. Yeah, no. I, if it's an aggro hunter and you are on the play, I throw everything back if I don't have a one drop. Yeah. I hate keeping the. Like, if you don't have there a you one go. drop, you feel well, just he, so silly. He got the med scientist, so you can go with that. No, why would you play that? He wants the pain. <laughs> he wants to receive the wrath. I don't get it. Okay. Uh, well, Life Coach now might just play the Wild Group. No way. Yeah, he'll get the Wrath. There's no way. What happens is if you Wild Growth in the spot, you get double Abusive Sarge and end up with like three life next turn. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Or even three two. Life. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then you hear power to win. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was so close. Yep. It's a good thing he did that. Yeah, that's a good top deck. Oh. oh. Well, that was a good move. So yep. now you need a keeper top deck. That's not it. Uh, well, that's you not... You could uh, go Azure. You have to go Azure. But what? what like, is the one card draw that you would use? There's no Moonfire as far as we know. That would be so sick. What? Oh, man. No one has played Moonfire in a tournament since Nimsh at Seat Story Cup last time. No, 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 no. You're not right. I think Life Coach was playing that in the, um, in the uh, Gazette and Druid. Wow. Did it have okay. Maligos? No, it was just about the card draw. Oh, okay. You know, board advantage. Sure. What to do? I don't. I didn't see that list for sure. It's now it sucks. So you you either innovate Drake or Sylvanas. Or Sylvanas. Yes. I think I like Sylvanas. Do you? I, yeah. I think he will just dig for the keepers and. Well, this the, this, the the Drake dies the, to the Huffer. Well, that's still okay. Why would you trade here? It's not about you trading. It's. The, if you're life coach, you would want to trade I th later. What about the swipe snake, now? What about snake trap juggler here? Mm. That's sick, unless he gets a swipe. Yeah, that is true. Uh, actually, when you play face hunter, I think the unless part of the uh, argument is just written off. Uh, that's um, you just playing everything. That applies to every single aggro deck, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the swipe doesn't actually do it anyways because there's so two minions. So basically, like the two to, to fulfill the argument here, uh, you'd you'd make that play unless he has swipe. In that case, you, you do don't it. actually care. You just make the play anyway. <laughs> ah. That's that's the rationale of the face hunter. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why I lost against against ignite. Must have been, yeah. I was like, okay, I go face with my, with my doggies, and then consecration happened. Oh, wow. That's so now swipe would be relevant. Hmm. Nope. Actually, um, Force Nature would have been good if he had an invade. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly would. <laughs> and um, another point I want to make. Hmm. Sylvanas would be much better here. Because you could suicide into the Huffer and you take either a Juggler or a Mad Scientist. If you get the knife. Well, you, you got the knife. Well, if you play the Sylvanas, we'd have to replay. You wouldn't get the, the knife. entire history of the universe to figure out what gets it. Okay. Well, Sylvanas is actually, no. Dodging. Even if you didn't get the knife, you'd still make that play. You put Sylvanas yeah, at yeah, one, yeah. so his juggler becomes like really weird. It would become really weird. Yeah. Crip, why Until don't you play, you play Major Domu and make him take that. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah way. Four times pink, like with two mana. I mean the hunter pink. You got it four times for two points of mana. Okay, so he's doing the wild growth, which is gonna let him Sylvanas next turn or force of nature next turn. My yeah. guess is force of nature. Yeah, I think so. Do you kill jugs here or do you kill the huffer? I think you, you have to kill the knife juggler. Yeah, I think you're right. Snake trap is scary. Ah, uh. oh, but you got six points of damage next turn. This is so harsh. Yeah. Well, you. I mean, this is not a winning matchup for this deck, anyways. It can be if you get the innovate keeper. Yeah, but that's that's like literally everyone's answer to like how to beat Hunter. And if that's your answer, I'm like yes. And also, Freeze Mage can beat Warrior. Mm. I know that one's like more crazy and more one sided, but like. It's not life good. Well, it's gonna be pretty snakes. depressing force of nature. You basically use your whole turn in a card to kill this board, which then fills up with the <laughs> same number of creatures. Then after, plus the trap is back. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, that's the person. The decision to he not so trade the Cogmaster right? was really crucial. <laughs> <laughs> Cogmaster? What's that? Cogmaster? No, it's Cogsmith. Yeah. Uh, what's the genesis of well, the Well, that sword? was a Cog Apprentice, all right? Mm, that was okay. not even a... It's not even a cogsmith. Can I get the explanation? I was on the B stream. The cogsmith? Yeah. What? Uh, Crip just called it cogsmith because he doesn't know anything about Hearthstone cards. Yeah, so okay. I thought that was pretty exactly funny, right. so now I call it cogsmith too. Oh man, you're so dead. You're the druid here. Oh yeah. 
He is so dead. You kill a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I don't even know what an attack to face would mean here. Preventing well, a damage preventing is definitely better than doing 3 damage right now, he right? He prevents the explosive trap from blowing off this turn. Wait, what is that? 7. That's 2 off lethal right now. Explosive. I think I like that. I think I like Arcane Golem Wolf Rider. I would actually play the Arcane Golem way before. After the turn he played the Wild Group, I'll just go with Arcane Golem. Yeah, you're right. This is... This is silly is what this is. That is a lot of damage. I think the only it. draw that does anything at all... Oh, actually, no. There's no draw that you does anything what? at all. You know what? Majodomo would put him on 8. <laughs> Doesn't it cost nine, though? It has to die. Yeah, it does have to die. Uh, but the thing well, is... That I know there would be something to do with Death Cup. That was brutal, guys. That was so brutal. Yeah. It was fast. Yeah, it was. This is a pretty quick series so far. All right, so it's Druid for Lush now. It's his last deck he needs to win with. Yeah. I don't like Druid. Why didn't Lush play the Toy this Hunter? <laughs> I don't know. It could have something to do with his hunter actually winning a lot of games. No way. Yeah. Could have something to do with that. Yeah. All right. So you're going up against Druid. Obviously, you're going back to Mage. I'll just write that in there. So mm. I'm already sure that's what he's going to choose. Uh, yeah. Pick Major up that win with your Mage. So? And then bring it down to a Druid versus Druid. This is still very doable okay. for Life Coach. I think so. Yeah. What will be the, the mass? Oh. Druid versus Druid will be the uh, last match in yeah. case he wins with his mage against the Druid. And I mean, uh, I guess I don't know exactly what's ah, in both crap. the Druid decks. I didn't, didn't have the time to click cancel. Oh, oh right yeah, everything's okay, good. There's mind. no cancel. All's good. Everything's good in the world. Except for Life Coach, oh. you down a game. That's not what you want. But oh, he went Druid. He wants to get that out of the way. You want to get it back when you mulligan it. In that way, right? The Cousin Mystic. So that's a good thing. Yeah, but the thing is you might draw the other one. There's not the, two in there. The same one, you, you mean. With yeah, the, draw, with like the draw on right pin next. one. No, the other one. Well, what will probably happen is he does have two, and the other one will pop into his hand, and then he'll draw this one on the next turn. Mm. I like this hand from Alesh, though. Wild Growth uh, into Emperor Tharson. That's pretty crazy. And maybe even the coin. Maybe you can do it on turn four. Maybe actually do it on turn two. Oh, come With on. an Innervate draw. And then you have no cards for him to reduce the mana cost of. No, then you would then you would top tech nature and lore. Oh, that would be sick. I'm in, let's do it. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised that he chose the druid right off the bat. I because I feel like the mech mage is a much more favored matchup and you get to see more cards out of Alesh. Maybe he wants to crush him emotionally if he wants uh, to. It this just one. doesn't matter. He both he no, I know, but isn't it better to like know all the cards in his deck a little bit better? I don't know. I oh, look, so. that, that's also nice, right? Yeah. I all think right. so. But do you use the Shade of Nexus turn one? No. In this case, when you have Dr. Boom? On what's, what's a Dr. Boom? Uh, I mean, Dr. how much? Gigi? Dr. Broom. No, 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 that's that's Dr. on... That's Dr. 5. Dr. 5? Because you have... I'm more of a fan of Dr. 3. Well, that, this will be Doctor Four, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, so on turn four. two, he plays Wild Growth. Yeah, it would be Doctor three, four. four. Yeah, Doctor Four. Doctor Four. Yeah. Wow. All right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Well, Alesh now has a awful draw with the double revs. This but he has Doctor Boom using. also. But it's a Doctor. No, so no, no, it's the not. Rats it's to not Doctor Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's Doctor How much? Five. No. How, yeah. how come? Because he has a coin in Wild Growth. Wild Growth. It's oh, and he has form. a BGH. No way. Suddenly, Alesh is in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, the this is a cool clean, game. A clean uh, BGH, and then... The Druid. Dr. Boom comes down. Yep. This is so crazy. Oh, what? No, the other bombs are just going to kill the Druid by itself. There's not enough damage on there yet. Maybe you Maybe drop the Baron Geddon. Mm. You drop the Baron Geddon and the bombs go off four times. Because there's always <laughs> Baron Geddon in Druid. <laughs> It's not even Bergen, guys. Oh yeah, I know Geddon. it's Riveter. I was just teasing. Oh. I thought it was because of yesterday. Well, Baron Geddon <laughs> is a card, too. Well, you just proved that it worked again today. Good job, yeah. Luther. Nailed him. Nailed me. All Got the Barons him. are the same, basically. 
Zombie Chow. Sick. Chow Nox Ramos. Yep. Well, it's, now you have to drop the, the next Dr. turn, Doctor Boom. You have to drop it because you know the targets for the bombs. <laughs> I think this is a Wrath Hero Power. No, I would coin out the Druid of the Claw. <laughs> Poor Druid of the Claw. Yeah. That thing is so dead. It's pretty dead. Oh, I never it. <laughs> Ooh, he could do a hero power with his Dr. Boom. Could kill... Yeah. What? He could... <laughs> <laughs> he could kill the nothing. Druid of the Claw. What do you mean, Don't nothing? Do you do it? I didn't think you'd do it. No. Of course you don't do it. <laughs> it's even a golden one. Oh, wow. Wild growth into big game. That's great. That's and actually terrific. That is really, really, really good. Into doctors. Actually, no, I think fall. I think I would uh, consider doing an attack into a boom bot before playing do uh, the big game. So you drop the... But then you can't play uh, Dr. Boom next turn. And now you can. No, I meant the Druid of the Claw attack. Oh, Boomba. Druid of the Claw. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Just because that big game has an exactly 0% chance of surviving right now. <laughs> Whenever you big game Dr. Boom, the Boom bots will claim vengeance. Now we just drop the Force of Nature, right? You have a clean trade and go face with everything. It's a good call when it will draw into Savage Roar. And then right? swipe devastates. No, no, you, you don't attack with the uh, with the shade. I think okay. yet. Yeah, yeah, that's fine then. I think, I think you have very little faith in those boom bots. As far as I see, well, he has so much faith he wants to hold on to them for later on. As far yeah, as exactly. I see, the game right now is uh, the first boom bot will kill the druid of the claw. The second boom bot will uh, hit the druid for four. And then the and kill life him. coach can use his hero power to finish off the big game. But he will be forced to use the innovate into Ancient Lavo this turn. Do you think so? Yeah, it, it, not dropping anything is just bad. awful. Mm. It's bad to not do anything on a turn, crib. Yeah. Sorry. No, yeah, explosions. More explosions. <laughs> but don't attack with the shade. Oh, phew. Hmm. hmm. Paltator, now you drop the boom. It's time for Dr. Boom. It's seven and it's green. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if you draw Drake into Swipe or into Wrath... Again, the, the Dr. Boom is no chance. Those bombs <laughs> are going to hit him for four apiece. <laughs> what? But the best part is you actually attack a bomb with your bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll trigger your other bomb, both of which will kill the Dr. Boom. <laughs> it's such a roulette. I love I love Dr. Boom volleyball. <laughs> Here you go. Bam! Boom ball. Oh, it's what? time. <gasps> <laughs> what? What? That Crip, never happens. Lied. That you never lied. happens. Crip That's lied. not how that goes. So what? You see the outcome of the last bomb, and then you... Oh! Ooh. The boom attacks. Dr. Boom hits for four. You top deck a wrath. You innervate the wrath. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that doesn't work. Wow, that was like the most missed thing. That actually thing sucked. So you're going to face boom? Yeah. You have to face boom. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, it's still not bad, because your opponent... We'll have to use double ref to kill the kill the Ash of Law, right? Or just not do anything, yeah. Like you hero can, power pass. You can wrath cycle for one and drop the shredder and then hero power pa pass, yeah. You think you can I'll do kill that? Lore. What are we talking about? <laughs> you kill the lore? Yeah. It's I don't like keeping alive the the Ash of the Law to be honest. You like leaving it? No, 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 I don't like leaving. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like leaving. The thing it. is, you still have a pretty weak board if you play that, but. You have to drop you the Pilot Treader, that's for sure, right? Like, hmm? huh? We know that he has to drop the Pilot Treader, that's for sure. Yeah. 
So you have no. Wait, no, no. no you can wrath for one and get a six drop that you'd like, like maybe Tharson or something. I don't know. No, you won't play Tharson. No, no. I I think you actually go uh, keeper and wrath for three, I must because you have to remove it. If you look at your hand. Oh, he's going to go You, you were it? just saying that because you saw him already click on... No, I said that before. <laughs> Rewind the tape. I I think he should have Wrath for three here. I like that because he has three spells in hand. It's like, mm. if this lore starts taking out minions, he's just going to win because he has all these minions in hand. Minions. Minions. Right? I just don't think this so is better called? than the yeah, Wrath yeah. for one uh, Shredder. I, I think Wrath for one Shredder is better than this play. I mm. think so, too. Yeah. Uh, but still, the... Trading the Cogsmith into the mid scientist was better too. Yeah. Well, the yeah. Cogsmith, like, uh, like imagine that Cogsmith right now. He would take this ancient lore down in a second. Yeah. Yeah. In a split second. Yeah. Well, if you use Wrath, your only option is to drop Pile to Treader. I think you if. If you plan to play the Palter Shredder, and you, 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 if you don't plan to play the Azure Drake, then you have to use the Wrath first. What? What's that? New rope. <laughs> 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 Whoa! That was good. That guy needs a raise. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Palter Shredder and Hero Power. Why would you not play Drake first then? I don't get it. Right? I don't know. Looks like a pretty good swipe though. Yeah, that's super that, bad. <laughs> Does it? Does that look like a good swipe? Let me check. Well, he did it, and it looked good after he did it. Yeah. That's why I like the Palter Shredder so more. The Palter Shredder was so much better. Okay, well, two Palter Shredders are also okay. That was a very quick turn for life coach. Two shades. I like wrathing for one. I just feel there's so, so many draws trade, that you can like you start trade really your crushing first. with. Yeah, trade your bomber first. See what it gets. One eye cheat, bam. Cycle that wrath. Okay. Yeah. Trade the bomber wrath for one, whatever comes out. Oh, nope. wrath for three. That has to be a three. Mail house one of stone. Doggy. Ooh. So that has now to be a wrath for one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Imagine if it was wrath for three and then he hero powered into the druid's face. How crazy that would be. Totally crazy. Totally crazy. I think the phase three hit is good. You have pressure. Yeah. 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 Force of nature sucks. This this three phase tag is terrible though. I would never bother with this three phase. Yeah, you save it for the next turn. Yeah. The reason I'm saying it is because I'm, guess, I'm guessing he's thinking about it. Where's the new rope poster? Uh, it's too soon. You, you can't you can't repeat a joke within a certain time frame. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they'll save it for the next match that Life Coach is in, at least. So you trade the Palette Shredder into the Shade of Next Ramas, drop the Belcher and the Shade of Next Ramas, and use the Hero Power. This game is a little bit shady, guys. But we're going to get a Doomsayer, so that's going to mess that up a little bit. That's fine. No, it's not. That is. <laughs> you still have to drop your Belcher, though. That's oh. yeah, yeah. That is rough, actually. Is he considering force here? Hmm. The turn when he dropped the Azure Drake bites him back now mm. because of the swipe. I think it all goes back to the Cogsmith. Yeah. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys acknowledge this. Yeah. Hmm. Crip, next time you will have to play it in this tournament. I don't know how to play Hearthstone. I only know how to abuse bosses with terrible AI and collect cards afterwards. Mm. Will we see a new poster? Hmm. Like, uh. I don't know. Oh, well, th that's quite a. Good drop. That's really good behind a Belcher. Yeah. Ancient of Law is one of the greatest cards. As I was 
as the last one in your hand. Innervate is on the other side is the, the worst one. Unless well, we you drop a Belcher. Okay. Yeah. So now there's nope. Swipe. Ah, no, swipe is not bad. possibly usable. Mm. No, not uh, really the same. No. Swipe's a card that's good to save here. Yeah. This is just a messy, messy turn. Now it all comes what? to what life coach does draw. If he draws a Ragnar as an example, this might might turn around. Yeah, it could. I think Innervate swipe on the Belcher is not really that bad. You think so? How do you kill it then? You sacrifice the bomber? Yeah. Because uh, it kind of makes it so your uh, your ancient lore absorbs some damage, then your your shade is uncontested. You get a scenarius, and then you're like winning. I'm kind of excited again. about scenarius giving plus two, plus two to everything, though. You no, know? that's just not happening. No, you <laughs> can't do that. Oh, I don't think so, Alesh. Whoa, it worked. <laughs> oh, Alesh is a bot confirmed. Yeah, I think this is quite fine. Like, you, oh. you can't afford to take five damage. So, like, I guess you just lose your two biggest creatures. So like, is, isn't this really good? What? So you play Kazan, Force of Nature, kill the Ancient of Lore with the free trends, and go phase with everything. Yeah. That is definitely the play there. It's a very sad play. It is a very sad play. But it's on the cube. <laughs> it is. I have a feeling next turn won't be unless it's Deathwing, which would be the sickest play of the tournament. Though it could be like an Ancient of Lore into three drop, though. Yeah, it could be. I think he's used up all his three drops, though. But it will okay, be it could be an Innervate Belcher. Yeah, that will be better. But he used already two Innervates, I think. And one Belcher, so that's not likely. Okay. Mm Maybe he's Fine. playing a Harvest Golem. Hmm. Maybe Maybe card, zombie yeah. Chow. Maybe he gets an Ancient of Lore into Zombie Chow. Here and then... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, wild growth. Ooh. Okay. This is, uh... You got 4, 8, 10, 11 points of damage next turn. Still not enough. Not even close to scenarios down. Yeah, but if he draws, screwed. like, a Savage Roar... Oh, wait, no, this is gonna no. be the taunts, of course. Deathwing has to come back into this deck. Pretty certain. Mm. Rap. Well, you rap for one. Or you not. You have to, Ooh. right? You have to rap for one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you rap for one on the shade. Because hmm. then you you can keep alive your two four threes. But you have to kill... Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah. That's actually... Yeah, that's okay. You definitely rap for one, though. It's just... Nothing else would make sense. And that brings him down to only six points of damage that you see. As long as he doesn't have a Savage Roar or yeah. Force of Nature, so you're still alive. Yeah, I think you got it. But uh, I think what you didn't get is uh, the Wrath is going to be played within three seconds of the turn ending. <laughs> He's going to draw an Ancient of Lore and then not know what to do with the cards drawn. <laughs> You might be right on that. Uh, still, a still a five yeah. five creature. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. It's just a really overpriced five five. Not the worst shape. Force of nature is lethal. Draw, draw the claw is lethal. Yep. Uh, savage swipe is lethal. Swipe is yeah. lethal. Yep. It's quite a bit of lethal. I don't think he'll get it though. It's just <laughs> my feeling. No. Oh, <laughs> That's not even worth a dollar. I think you gotta clear, you gotta the clear shade. this board, otherwise you just throw away at one game. Yeah. That Lothab complicates things, doesn't he? Yeah, was he has five points of HP, so that's a problem. I think I'd kill Tharson. No, 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 hold on. There's no lethal that could possibly come. You can use. Oh wait, no, sixteen with. Yeah, you have to go. You have to. Oh. Well. You know what? If he top, if he will live next turn, and he will draw the second force of nature, he wins. Yeah, he does. 
Wow. Okay, but welcome to Congo. Here's the thing, Druid. though. Alesh is going to draw the damage. switch. Yeah. Oh no, so he doesn't do it. No. no oh my oh. god. <laughs> okay. It. Let's see. Uh, one to eleven. It's not bad. Nine percent. Not bad. Not bad. Nine yeah. percent. That's reasonable. That's doable. Do you keep the keeper? You can keep it. There's no reason to play it because him armoring yeah. up, like if he, as long as he kills Lothab, he lives. Yeah. If he gets like a Belcher, then he can Wait, silence actually, it, yeah. kill him, kill him. Instantly. Actually, he sh oh god, yeah, that's true. It's kind of crazy. Well, let's see. Drake, that's not force of nature. Sylvanas is also not force of nature, and you have no yep. mana anyway, so that's GG. Yeah. Well, there goes life coach. I'm pretty sure he's lost three to one. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Nailed it. Okay, so Alesh, we're going to go right up to that round of eight. Yep. Congratulations. Yeah, a lot of these names that we've known for a long time, uh, but haven't had that sick, sick performance, mm. are doing it this time, man. Like me. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. You, Ignite, Alesh. Like, look at the set of players that's going up, actually. It's pretty cool. And Sixo, right? Yeah, Sixo. Yeah. He's so excited that he's basically... He's yelling at yelling Life Coach right now. Yeah, Life Coach will be pissed. Yeah, when you're, <laughs> when you're like really that. excited, it's actually pretty hard to estimate the volume of uh, of your voice yeah. compared to the distance of the person you want to hear you. It's like calling from a cell phone, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How did you know that I'm at the shop? <laughs> <laughs> and you yell at him. Alash. I uh, was so tunnel visioned that game. Like I w at that point, I felt lethal. like. What? When did you miss? When lethal? did you miss lethal? Uh, when I pinged the clockwork gnome. Oh, that. Oh, game. Yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like, I thought you were yeah, the your truth chance game. of like, losing no, that was zero. Yeah, I, exactly. Exactly. I was like so tunnel vision because I because I knew I can't lose the game, right? So I was like tunnel vision. Let's just like keep it clear. And we it was, we like, actually, oh. uh, but, at least I thought the turning point was yeah the the cogsmith. Yeah. Cogsmith, yeah. When when he played double <laughs> no. Cogsmith yeah, and, and chose and I not drew, to trade, I, yeah, he, I, his, I, I played his oh. hand was double mirror entity. So oh. it's like a complete win more hand. Okay. And because he lost the board at that point, the, everything was worthless. Yeah, yeah. He would yeah trade and like for the, the Frostbolt. The Frostbolt decided yeah. that game. That like I was like, oh, I drew Frostbolt. Yeah. Thanks God. Like the same thing happened to Asha, right? But he didn't have a Frostbolt. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lothar's being oh, a troll. Oh, he's, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But good stuff. I mean, uh, and quick games. You, you've been on this couch like twice in an hour. I know. Yeah, like, you just and there right was a game in between of that yeah, that I know, you weren't I know. even part of. I know. Yeah. Insane. I mean, Life Coach played fast, too. Yes, yeah. he did. Incredible, so, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit slower you, than the last round. Have you seen the, the turn, turn one when I had a coin and a wild growth and I was like, Let's see, like, like, let's mind game him as well, you know? Let's robe him a little bit just so he thinks I have an innervate, you know? Mm. Um, yeah. Oh, was that, we didn't was that see what that. it was. <laughs> 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 All right. Well. I, I, th I think, like, I like, I don't know, the keeper, keeper 4 2, instead of playing, like, keeper rat, just keeper shredder. I Wait, think that what? was pretty good play, I think. Oh, in the, in the yeah. oh that too. The turn eight, my Android mirror. I would still I, go with the pilot shredder. Oh, the, I, I would have gone with the wrath the for, for one and two shredder. Yeah. Me oh, too. keeper for two on two. Yeah, because like yeah. like uh, I knew that he played double as a Drake, right? So what's gonna probably come out is gonna be uh, as a Drake or Belcher, like turn after that most likely, because otherwise he would play other stuff the turn. So, I mean, he he drew into it, but like. Uh, I felt like then whatever he, whatever whatever happens, I can e either he trades, or I draw with rats, or uh, he plays something, I swipe, and I get like total value with swipe. So, yeah. All right, same question. Every everyone that advances here, uh, can we expect to see different slash fun things tomorrow in the playoffs with a new round of decks? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, maybe. Let me just yeah, throw off my opponent. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay. You'll see. I'm You'll so see. sad, man. No one's going to play Major Domo. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I feel like um, people will probably be more secure about it. Mm -hmm. Because if I would be able to make decks right now, I would make different decks. Because I played on the meta a little bit, yeah. the new meta. But well, there's a new meta for the tournament Yeah, right exactly. Now, so. But like since since we had to prepare decks before actually advancing, like mm -hmm. you know, it's like two days ago, three days ago, actually three days ago, so before the patch was out, I feel like more people will be secure about it. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I I will be playing with blood, uh, cold blood. 
Whisp Cold Blood, man. It's Whisper really Cold good. Yeah. It combos the Cold Blood, you know. It's good, I guess. Druid. He has there's to take one. five face. There's like no turn... other 5 1 1 drop in the game. <laughs> well, there is. There is. Magma Rager. One drop? One oh, drop. oh, one drop. One drop, yeah. 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 It's zero guess, drop. What are you you got to use Farsight it's into that Magma drop. Rager. It's important. Yeah. All right. So, cool. Great job, Alesh. Congratulations. We got Thank two you. more matches in the bracket. We got the uh, the losers duking it out. Yep. Do and we have the result of that? I don't know if... Uh, yeah, we're actually... Yeah, okay, we're it, actually... It has not happened yet because it's of all the quick, quick today, matches. So. Uh, we're we're going to go over that on stream uh, when we come back. And the winner of that is going to play Life Coach for that second yeah. spot out of this group into the playoffs yeah. tomorrow. Did they play already or? Oh, did, they, did they play already? No, we, did they play already? It's all right. We know you're excited. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, they haven't played already. Yeah, okay. They're about to. It's going to oh. be Show versus yeah. Johnny uh, coming up next. So. All right. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Yep, Guys, absolutely. we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with that.